Hey everybody, it's Katie from Bobby Hair Studio, and I'm back again after a long vacation to give you another transformation. This is my client, Caitlin, and she is an amazing person. Today she has a virgin head of natural level six-ish kind of hair. At the ends, you can see some old balayage, and what we did is we did like the really viral red sensation that everybody's going for. Everyone this year in 2022 is going for more of a coppery red rather than a purple red, and I'm gonna show you how I do a dimensional red quite easily in one appointment with no bleach. So as you saw, this is her before. She does have all natural virgin hair with a little bit of old balayage at the ends, but the balayage shouldn't be a problem here today because I don't believe there's any low lights. I'm gonna start with our root formula today because I did three formulas for this red to be very dimensional. And again, no bleach has been used, just a root color, a highlight color, done with color, and a full over color that goes anywhere between the foils. So for the root color today, we used Schwarzkopf Royal. We used a 6-6, -6, which means 6-chocolate, which is a brown base with a red to it, and a 6-7-7, which is 6-copper-copper -copper extra, and a 7 0. Now, in Schwarzkopf, the dash zeros, especially on a level 7, are quite warm. And what we're doing here is we're not using any cool tones. We want to let her natural underlying pigment, which is going to be an orange or a red color, pull through because that's why we're using a 20 volume because we do want to get some of that natural underlying pigment to lift up through and expose because that's going to enhance the warmth in her hair and create this really beautiful, shiny ginger color. So we did a root color and we're going to do a slightly different color for our full color in between the foils. But right now I'm gonna get into what the foils have as their formula and why I chose to do a color instead of bleach. So our highlight formula is a Schwarzkopf Royal mixture of 8-0, which is natural, 8-46, which is a beige chocolate, and a 7-77, which is the orangiest color that they have. It's honestly pure orange, mixed with 20 and 40 volume. So for some of these pieces, I'm going to be balayaging them. Some are going to be more highlighty. You're gonna see some really intensely large sections that I'm choosing for this, but that's because we only have one level of difference. And if you wanna be able to see the difference between these two colors, you have to do massive pieces. So don't be scared about making things look chunky because I promise they won't look chunky with only one level of difference. So why would I choose to do it this way instead of with bleach? I know bleach can be a little bit easier to formulate because reds are very difficult. It's all a guessing game and it takes some experience to know how someone's hair is going to lift at the level that they're at. But I chose to do no bleach because I want her to have as low maintenance as possible for her red. So it means that she's only gonna have to get her roots touched up from time to time, rather than the bleach pushing out the red toner that I could put in there and then the rest of it staying red, she's gonna end up with red and blonde. And we don't want that, we want red and ginger. So the color will actually fade just as gently as the rest of her red will, and it will just be a lot um, more subtle of a balayage because we don't, again, want yellow or blonde with this red. We just want red and ginger together. Because when you bleach and then tone, it's just like the cuticle is way more blasted open and it's more likely to drop out that color much quicker rather than just lifting with a color. And when you lift with a color that uses the underlying pigment as part of its tool base rather than it's something that you want to fight against, then you're going to get a longer lasting color that's going to be more vibrant and beautiful. So that's why I really love redheads because when you have a natural virgin head of hair and you're like, I wanna go red, I'm like, oh my God, please come see me. I love this. It's one of my favorite transformations because we get to use your natural underlying pigment as an advantage rather than something that we're gonna fight against. So what I'm doing here is on the very top in the back crown of her head, I'm doing some pretty chunky highlights of the lighter highlight color. And I'm going from roots to end and I am smudging in a little bit of that root color into my highlights because I want to make sure there's no brown pieces left. That's my one worry about this appointment. I'm just kidding. That's a lie. Whenever you do redheads, there's a lot of worries, but <laughs> we didn't get any brown pieces. Thank God. That's always the worst part. But uh, my biggest worry was actually is how would this lift? How on earth is this going to lift enough to the color I want? Because red is very deceiving when it's coloring. It looks like it's brown the whole time. <laughs> And then in the last five minutes, you're like, oh no, it's actually lifting, it's going red, that's fine. So just trust the process. So 
so what I'm doing here with her uh, money piece is I'm taking really large sections. I'm doing absolutely zero drops. I know it's a little hard to see here. I was having troubles with my camera yesterday. I'm so sorry about that. But I'm taking essentially slices along the sides of her face. And I'm doing that whole section that goes from ear over the top of her face to the other ear. And it's like an inch and a half thick. And that whole thing is going to be the money piece of this lighter highlight color. Again, sounds like it's gonna be a crazy looking piece, but you'll see at the end when I show you the front of her face that it's actually very soft and beautiful. And it's the only piece that really kind of like stands out as lighter than the rest because the other pieces, as the highlights open up down towards her shoulders, they kind of blend into everything else. And I'm gonna, you know, address that with my two stars in the wish, but you'll get to see it after. In between these highlights, after I'm done applying them, I'm going to go right in with a full color formula and it's going to be different than my root color because I don't want hot roots. Hot roots, if you don't know what they are, are something that get happens, especially with redheads, when you have a warm scalp and color is the area around the scalp for the first like quarter inch to half an inch of the hair is going to lift brighter. So that's why I mixed a darker formula for my roots. So my mids color is 7-77. 6-6, 7-0, and 8-0 with 20 and 40 volume. And the reason why I mixed 40 volume into this one and into the foils is to get a little bit more of that brightness coming out in the hair. I'd rather have a more shadowy root and a more bright, vivid copper going all the way throughout the rest of the hair because that looks more natural and softer rather than having a hot root and then dark red everywhere else. That's one of my secrets. And because my camera ran out of battery, <laughs> um, I did a couple of foils up on the sides here. I did one balayage one and then one highlight one on either side of the parting. And here I'm just checking and praying to the hair gods that it has lifted enough. And as you guys have seen, here is her before, just as a quick refresher of what she looked like entirely before. A little bit of that old balayage in the ends. And uh, oh yes, we did do about an inch trim and we gave her some new face framing uh, layers. So that will be there. I just didn't film that part of the video either. And here is her after. So now you can see that little bit of that highlight right there. And even though I took really huge chunks to do this more highlighted piece, the more copper pieces, they're very soft and subtle and you can only really see them when her hair is curled. But I'm super happy with this result. And here is the back and now we're going to do uh, two stars and wish while we look at this beautiful work because I'm really happy with it and I'm proud of it, but there are things that I would change. So I'm going to tell you right now what they are. For my first star, I love my regular formulation for the full length of her hair. I am so happy with it and I think it is so shiny and beautiful and her hair took so evenly everywhere. For my second star, I love that I thought ahead and did my root smudge a slight bit darker, like like a half a level darker just to ensure that depth and beauty in the redhead rather than leaving it really hot rooted. But for my wish, I do wish that in my highlight formula, I used a 30 slash 40 volume rather than 20 and 40. I didn't have 30 volume with me, but I want a little bit more of that brightness and that pop that you see in those kind of top areas, the highlights where the highlights haven't spread so far apart down there near the ends. That's what that is. I hope that that makes sense. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Remember to like and subscribe if you do like these videos and uh, yeah, follow me for the next one because there will be these pretty frequently from now on. I'm sorry about the time I took off for my vacation. Have a great time guys. Enjoy.